graduate school it's just hard and I'm gonna go back and try again hi guys welcome back to my channel and I just want to quickly announce that yes I am blonde it wasn't the plan I was going for more of a ashy blonde type of balayage look but this is what I got and I'm kind of working on it um so once it grows out a little bit and I go back and retouch a few spots to make it look more like a balayage I'm gonna do that but you know on a budget so a lot has happened ever since like my last video um, different background obviously my baby is a lot older now you guys will see her later on um, but a lot happened and I'll probably get into the details later um, but short version is that we're back at my mom's house and I will explain why like I said on another video later on and so but today I want to share with you guys what happened with my graduate school so as if, as you guys know I graduated from Cal State Northridge and I actually have a video on that that got a lot of views for some reason um, but I guess a lot of people struggle with college so um, I'll link that down below if you guys are interested in watching that because uh, I got put on probation and my low GPA and all of that good stuff but I did graduate so I graduated in 2000 16 and so it's been a few years now. I started graduate school at Biola University and I was in the teaching credential program the multiple subjects and then I wanted to do single subjects but then I kind of went back to multiple subjects and now I'm no longer going to school. What happened was that for the teaching credential program I was almost done. I had taken all the classes. I was in my last semester right before um, the student teaching and if you don't know anything about that it's whole complicated so you do all these regular classes and then the last two semesters you do is basically just you in a practice classroom like practicing all these skills and you have to record yourself you have to do all these lesson plans all this paperwork and you gotta turn it all in um, so you can get certified to teach so I was on that stage already about to do my TPAs, I was working on my TPA the first cycle and it all became very stressful so you guys will understand later on once I explain more in detail but I don't want to explain it in this video because it's going to get way too long but life happens and life sucks sometimes and so I got stuck in a dilemma. I either had to, well first of all I was going to work and I was doing my hours at the same time I was taking a, uh, an elementary reading class and what was the other class the mathematics class and another one uh, I'm blanking out okay but I was taking another class whatever and so each one of those classes required a certain amount of hours the reading class was requiring like 30 hours and then um, the other one wanted just for me to teach a lesson it didn't really require much the math lesson and then the other one was the one that was requiring like 60 hours or something like that or 90 60 I forgot Ugh. got too much going on people um so the point is I was almost done with those hours I was basically almost done I had to do three lessons and I had already done one and I recorded myself and everything I was good to go and I was gonna do the second one a lot better I was well prepared and everything but it was just stressing me out you guys everything kept going wrong like anything that could go wrong was going wrong and I was like really like this is really stressful I have a baby I have a job I have worries financial problems and then on top of that I had school so um, I got stuck in a dilemma because I either had to stop with my hours or and go back to school and finish it go strong and finish my stuff I was so close um, or I just dropped that and just continued going to work because bills needed to get paid and I wasn't getting paid while doing my hours. My, my work was very um, helpful, um, my boss was really helpful, she was supportive and she allowed me to teach at the elementary school, like work with the teacher at the elementary school and um, they they were working with my hours they gave I asked for a whole month off from work technically to be at the other site and get my hours done and at the end of the month I I thought I had scheduled it in a way where it was gonna work out and I could get all my hours done in one month and then I'll, I can get it over with and I can just focus on working again so I was like I'll just take one month off from work that's a whole month without working that's just my husband working and 
it's like we have a lot of bills to pay you people like a lot like we had lawyers to pay because of his immigration case and then we had our regular bills our car bill everything credit cards the whole shebang and so his check alone wasn't going to be enough and even then we kind of pushed it um we said maybe we'll make it we can do this and so i took the month off of february and i was doing great i was passing on my classes i was doing all the work i was I managed to do work, school, baby, the whole thing, okay? Ever since like last year in August when I started. So then I went back and I was doing that and at the end of the month of February, I realized that I wasn't going to make the deadline. I needed to still do a few hours of English, well not English, the reading section with kindergarten and I was actually going to do that at my other job where, where my, well, not my other job, but it was where I used to work with Aspire and they were nice. She was like, yeah, come in my class. You can do this. I asked permission and everything. So it was good to go. I was going to start the following week. But what's tricky about the teaching credential program is that for that reading class, the only hours that they count is that actual reading time and the max I could squeeze out from each day was two hours. So at the rate of two hours per day, multiply that by five days, Monday through Friday, I was only gonna be able to do like 10 weeks. That means I still needed three more weeks to do that reading time and for it to come towards my class. And I had to go back to work that following week. So I cried and I was so depressed because I knew I had to go back to work and I was just gonna have to put pause on my school. So graduate school, was gonna have to wait I was really bummed out I cried because I didn't want I didn't want it to let it go I didn't want to let it go um, this was the second time I tried to make this work so for me it was very depressed depressing very sad to just like let it go once again the first time was um, a few weird years back in 2016 was when I finished CSUN I went to Biola and I took a semester and then I kind of paused on it again for the first time I paused it and um, then I met my husband we got married we had a baby and then you know I was like you know what I want to go back to school finish that so that's when I started last year in August I did that whole semester I did great I passed all my classes those classes did not require any hours so I was good to go I, I didn't have any problems managing life and school and work and baby I, it wasn't really much of a problem then starting January is when that semester got a lot harder and I thought I was able I was going to be able to manage it but it didn't work out that way so I ended up leaving school once again so now I'm just working and oh gosh you guys are gonna think this is crazy but I just felt like maybe it's just not God's plan for me to finish that program I learned a lot from it I learned so many and I got so many resources now I understand like a lot of more things and rules and laws and re religion and laws with school like I learned a lot and I got to practice a lot more I even got to teach English for eighth grade more so it's kind of like I got the experience I got the knowledge I just didn't end up getting the certificate the degree that came along with that to prove that I know all these things so for me I'm like well I kind of learned to let that part go like I don't have the physical paper that tells me that I know how to do this but I kind of got all the experience and knowledge from what I wanted to all the knowledge that I felt like I needed to know and so now I'm okay with just having that knowledge and experience so what I own originally wanted to get was my master's degree in children and family ministry and so I applied to that university that's actually in Texas and that's another thing I I kind of want to move to Texas am I gonna move are we gonna move I am not sure if that's God's plan we're praying about it we'll see because that would be very exciting if we move to Texas and I mean the schools right there near Dallas so um it's a christian university um and so i'm really kind of being pulled over there um i start in the spring which is in january of next year that's when i'll be starting my classes again and i'm really excited because it's also knowledge that i just want to have and originally that's the school i wanted to go to but i said 
I want to teach, I want to have some kind of job, so I went for Biola, and Biola was technically the first university I wanted to go to as a freshman, and so I don't know, God's plans are, I don't know, I don't understand them, but I was like, okay, I ended up going there, and I just didn't get any degree or anything from it, so now I'm going to start graduate school at online. I'm going to be doing classes online and see how that works out for me. I'm really hoping, well these classes don't have any hours like a teaching credential program does. So I'm assuming that I will be able to handle it, handle it a lot better. And if, in case I have to leave work, I do have a backup job now that is a lot more flexible. So I'll probably be able to leave my job as a TA if I need to but for now I'm still working and now it's summer so I get to do a lot more videos and so yeah that's basically what's going on with graduate school so that was a fail back at Biola in a way in, well in the sense that I don't get a degree or a, or any license or anything basically I just got the knowledge which for me is enough I know for a lot of people that's probably like not enough you need the proof and I did get into more debt because I took out loans and I'm going to take out loans for my masters as well so we'll see how that works I will share that information later after the first semester once I start online in January of next year so we'll keep an eye on it and hopefully this is not a fail and hopefully I get that so I just wanted to share that with you guys if you are going to graduate school if you're in the teaching credential program, I feel you. I know those lesson plans, TPAs, that whole shebang. It's just not. It's just not easy. Um, and for me, I orig I originally thought I wanted to be a teacher, and I do. But I know for a fact that I don't want to be a teacher for the rest of my life. So I also don't think I wanted I wanted the the teaching credentials as bad as I thought I did. Um. Because, I mean, I'm just going to use it for a little bit and that's it. I wasn't planning to be a teacher my entire life. I just wanted to have it just to have it <laughs> and be able to work. But um, I'm working where I work is fine and it's not going to be something I want to do my, the entire, my entire life. I actually want to open up a daycare slash preschool, which is another adventure I will, guide, I'll, I will keep you guys posted on. Um, because yeah I really really want to start my own daycare and I think it's possible so I don't know we'll see what happens in a few years and how everything works out this year so I'll see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys I don't know found this helpful or at least if you have questions comments do you need advice just comment down below and I'll get back to you guys okay so bye